Hi, my name is Andrew Kowalski. I'm the writer and director of Patient Number 7. Hi, I'm Mike Cruz. I'm the director of photography on Patient Number 7. Hi, my name is Peter Morris, and I'm the camera operator for Patient Number 7. Patient Number 7 follows the journey of a man named Alex Strauss, who awakens in a strange mental institution run by the company Scientific Research and Development Corporation. Alex awakens in his cell one day with almost no recollection of why he's there um, and is instantly greeted by a routine beating from one of the security guards. Um, Alex can't remember why he's there due to the effects of a new experimental drug that the hospital is force feeding him which is causing him to lose the memories of his past life. Um, the only things that he can remember are vague flashbacks of his son Judy and Max and he desperately wants to see them again and wants to get out of this facility so that he can be back with them. When I saw the script, I was excited to jump on board. Seeing how it is a psychological thriller, being lost in the mind of Alex Strauss trying to put together the pieces of what happened to his family, I found myself wanting to know what happened just as badly as he did. During his time at the hospital, Alex is subject to uh, torture, beatings, um, subliminal messaging torture techniques, and being force-fed this new experimental medication. All the while, he's slowly in, uh, losing his sense with reality, and the lines between what is real and what's not, and what's just in his head, start to become blurred. I really love the feeling uh, that Andrew brings to the script. It's a really dark and ominous and kind of, and it's just a, it's a thriller. It's, it, gets, it really gets in, in the mind of Alex. We really don't know what to trust. We don't, as an audience, we don't know what's real and what's not. And I really like the ambiguity of that because it keeps you guessing. It keeps you, you know, wondering what's going to come next. Um, is he really crazy or is all this actually happening to him? The look we're going for is a really blown out look with white walls and white everything really. We want to really give the feel of being lost. With, since Alex himself is really going to be lost within his own mind trying to put the pieces of together of what happened to his family, we want the viewer to kind of have this same notion as well. Being lost in the film trying to put the pieces together themselves. I think that this film deals with a lot of issues that are in today's society including government control over society, you know, where exactly the line is in terms of how far our government can push itself and do our daily lives, uh, especially in regards to pharmaceutical testing. Um, you know, what are we willing to risk in order to create something that's quote unquote good for the um, society as a whole? Um, I also think the film vastly deals with, you know, our own human psychology, you know, why do we do what we do, and our personalities, you know, if you take away someone's memories, um, or you take away who they are, you know, are they still a person, and, um, you know, are we really individuals, or are we just a product of our surroundings? We literally eat, sleep, bleed film. So, running with this script, uh, we're going to go 110% the whole entire time. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with a, just a phenomenal crew. Uh, I know Kowalski's work ethic aligns with mine and my own, where we put in our work and we get, what we, uh, we get out of it what we'd like to see. I expect the shoot to go really well and really smooth. Uh, over the last couple of months, uh, I've uh, gotten to know a lot of people who are going to be on the crew and uh, I'm confident that we have what it takes to pull it off and I think it should turn out really well. So we're asking for your help. Uh, we are trying to raise between ten and twenty thousand dollars and I know that seems like a big goal but it's going to go towards production design, costume design, uh, payment of cast and crew, transportation, rentals, um, of props and costumes, rentals of facilities, and lighting equipment and camera equipment um, for a full uh, four to five day shoot. If you could go to our Indiegogo page and contribute anything you can, a uh, dollar would help out, you know, anything, um, your contribution and your support means a lot to us. And we're giving a lot of cool perks away, including a special thanks in the credits of the film, uh, signed DVDs, signed posters. And if you donate $1,000, you'll get an executive producer credit in the film. And if you'd like to specify an amount to donate, um, 
you can go down to the bottom of the page, click Donate Now, and the last option on the following page will allow you to specify an amount. If you cannot donate, um, that's fine too. Um, just please, if you can, share the Indiegogo page on Facebook or Twitter or through email. Um, anything you can do to help would be amazing. Thank you.